Okay, there you go. Homie. Okay. <laughs> so guys, we're here. Um, we're gonna demonstrate part C and part D for the enzyme lab. And in this particular part C, it's showing the effect of temperature on catalase activity. I'm gonna take three pieces of liver and place them into the test tubes. There's one, got another one there that makes two. And this one's gonna be three. I'm gonna place them each into the test tubes. Okay, this first test tube, this one's going to go into the hot water bath, and it says we need to add a small amount of water to it, so we want to make sure that it's just covered with water. So we're going to go to the sink and add that. In the second tube, it says we're going to add equal quantities of liver and one milliliter of, put equal quantities of liver into two test tubes. That would be the liver into the two test tubes right here and one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide into two other test tubes. So I'm going to take two other test tubes and add hydrogen peroxide. Oops. Let me measure it first for you. Side in the first one, peroxide in the second one. Okay. Now for the hot water bath, we're going to go ahead and place this test tube. So it's got the liver and the water all together. Let's see if I can get it go down. There we go. Just like so. This one we're going to place into a hot water bath right over here. Okay, and then in our lukewarm water bath, we're going to add the two with the peroxide, and then each one of these is going to have to have the liver in it. Let me see if I can get this to go down. There we go. There's in the warm, and then into the cold, like so. Now those have got to sit for about three five, three to five minutes or so. So while that's working, we're gonna go ahead and jump on to uh, part D, which is the effect of acid and base on catalase activity. So for part D, it says we're gonna add two milliliters of hydrogen peroxide to some test tubes. So I've got them right here, one, two, and three. We're gonna add two milliliters of peroxide. One, two, and three. <clears throat> and then it says we need to add four drops of acetic acid to the first one. Acetic acid is also known as vinegar. And there's our vinegar. I'm gonna add four drops. One, two, three, four. To the second one, we're going to add four drops of sodium bicarbonate, which is this one, and this is a base. Would you like to do that? One, two, three, four. And then in the third one, we're going to add three drops of water. One, two, three like so okay now an optional is here saying about using pH paper to measure the pH of our three substances so we can determine which one is an acid which one's a base and which one's neutral we're going to use pH paper I'm going to tear off three small strips here so we can test them Okay, we're gonna use the first one, which is the vinegar, the acetic acid. I'm gonna add one drop to the paper. And then compare it. 
okay? And then we're gonna add to the second piece of paper the sodium bicarbonate. And then you compare it. And to the third piece is gonna be our water. Then you can go ahead and compare that one also to get your pH values. Okay. Okay, the next step says to add liver to each of the test tubes and try to do it all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut three more pieces of liver. One. Two, three. Okay. Let's see if we can get them to go down. Remember, this one's first one is our acid. This one is our base. Last one here. Add the addition of the water. So you can go ahead and observe the reactions and rate them on a scale of zero to five as to how fast the reaction is occurring. Okay, now let's turn back to part C and measure and finish the effect of the temperature. Okay, for the temperature, it says we're going to remove the test tube from the hot water bath, allow it to cool, and then pour out the water. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the one from the hot water bath, let it sit and cool for a little bit, okay? While we're doing that, while that's cooling, we're gonna move on to the next two, the warm water bath and the cold water bath. Here's our warm, here's our cold. Okay, there's our warm and our cold. Okay, so we're gonna do the, the warm one first. The directions say to take the peroxide and pour it into the liver and observe the reaction on a scale of zero to five. Then I'm going to take the cold one observe the reaction again zero to five Okay, this last one, trying to let it cool down just a little bit. It says to pour out the water, so I'm gonna pour out the water. And then add two milliliters of peroxide to it. And there you have it. So you measure that one, rate of reaction, zero to five. Once that's done, you can go ahead and complete your data analysis questions. And this concludes the lab. Thank you.